Since switching over to round bells, that has meant that I need to update my facility a little bit to be able to feed these new type of bales. This year I need to convert one of my mangers over so that it can handle round bales and today that's what I'm going to get started with. Like almost anything that it seems like I do over there, it never just starts with construction. It always starts with demolition first because there's something old that I need to tear down first before I can rebuild something new in its place. So let me grab a few demolition tools and we'll head on down there. There's not too many things that don't come apart with a crowbar and a big hammer, so those are the first two things I'm going to grab. I've got my impact driver in the side-by-side, -side, my hammer, my crowbar. I believe I already have a sledgehammer down there if I end up needing that. Uh, so this should just about do it for today. Actually, one more thing that's important not to forget is a bucket to throw all of the nails that I will surely be pulling out into. Let's get full back here. All right, I think we're ready to hit the road. This is where I'm gonna be working for the next couple of days. As you can see, this manger or bunk feeder, whatever you wanna call it, is set up for small square bales. That's what we've been feeding out here for years. But, like I said before, since making the switch to round bales, we need to make some changes here. So, basically the plan is to leave the roof structure here, and I am gonna make some repairs like where um, this two by six is sort of hanging down. We're gonna fix that. There's a piece of tin missing over there. I'm gonna fix that too. But basically, I'm gonna take down all of the stuff down here below. That means the, uh, the fence line, bunk feeder, metal panels I have on the other side are coming off. This tin, these uh, boards here, all this is coming down. And in its place, we will replace it with something that is gonna allow me to park three round bales here under cover so that when I wean the calves, they have a nice spot to come up here and eat. Beyond the overhang here, I do have some more bunk space that in the past I did utilize. I don't think that I'm gonna really use this anymore. I'm not really gonna be able to, but I'm not gonna tear this down because um, at the time I just don't have, well, I don't think I have enough material to build a metal pipe fence all the way out to this gate. If it ends up that I do have some more stuff that I can use, then I, I probably will take this down as well. But for today, the goal is to just basically go from this post that way, taking all this stuff down. In a previous video, I talked about taking these uh, metal panels here and cutting them up a little bit and sort of repurposing them in the new manger. But after thinking about it a little bit, these are so nice as they are. I don't really want to wreck them. Um, I think I would rather hang on to them. And I, and I have actually an idea of another way that I can use these. So I don't want to cut these up yet. Um, and I think that I do have enough little spare pieces of metal here and there that I can come up with the stuff that I would have got from these panels. So we'll be fine there. I put these panels up several years ago with the thought that they were gonna just kind of be a temporary fix until I could fix this manger up how I wanted it. If I remember right, these things weigh a ton. So I think what I'll do is I'll just lay them down on the ground here and I'll try to drag them out with the side by side. <laughs> Where would we be without duct tape and hay twine, huh? Well, 
on the end of this panel there's these hooks here that are hooked into the other panel um, that's sort of giving it some structure here and it's not going to let it fall over so th this this all has to come down anyway um, so yeah I guess we'll just do it now and it looks like this panel is buried down in the mud a little ways so I may not be able to lift it I'm not really sure uh, I might have to come back over here with the tractor and pop it out of the ground but I'm going to give it a try Those may not look very heavy, but holy smokes, they got away 300 pounds. Okay, well, now that that is done, it actually makes it look like I've done a lot, which I don't know if I really have or not. But at any rate, now I need to start getting this wood down, which I don't think is going to be too much of an issue because most of it is rotten and broken and falling down already. So, like, I don't think any of these posts are in the ground anymore. This one maybe, but it's loose, so... These are going to be easy. There's a big old railroad tie right there. That's going to be a tractor job for sure. The only thing where I think I kind of screwed up is I didn't bring my little driver bit for these sheet metal screws. So when we get to that point, I will have to run back home and grab it. are nails you're not much help are you ah it's not what I wanted to happen
go. Well, I'm making pretty good progress here and some of this tin I'm going to be able to pull off because it doesn't have any of those uh, new screws in it. But this piece that I'm wrestling with, I finally figured out that Grandpa wired them together down here. So I'm going to have to cut that. Yeah, I wish I would have figured that out a little bit sooner. Well, apparently there was a wasp nest over here that I missed. I think I found it. It looks like they were living in that gate. Um, I was just using the gate as sort of a patch there because they broke these boards down. And yeah, this whole area is just kind of a patch on top of a patch on top of a patch. So it feels good to be getting out here and fixing this the right way finally. I still have a little bit left here to do, a couple boards and a couple posts, but I can't really do too much here right now because these wasps are buzzing all over the place. So I think I will go try to tear down the rest of the tin or at least what I can get without that driver bit. And then that will be a good time to go eat some lunch. Well, I've worked my way back over here to where the angry wasps are, so I really want to get this last piece of tin off, so I'm going to try it. Uh, we'll just see. If I start stirring them up again, though, this might have to wait till tomorrow. It's pretty easy when there's only one nail holding in it. I made a ton of progress down here today. I got actually further than I thought I would. I really only got a couple more little things that need to be pulled out and then it'll be time to come in here with the tractor and try to level this out as best I can. There's some high spots and low spots. And what I'd really like to do is see if I can get a couple of loads of sand dropped off and sort of build this up a little bit so when they're in here eating, they're not standing down in the mud. Once all that's done, It'll be time to start rebuilding. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.